Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I know I haven't done a lot of videos in the past couple weeks. Uh, i um, just taking a little break, uh, working on some aviation art paintings and stuff like that. But anyway, um, we're still working on our Fairfield Inn Hotel. Okay, that's the series that I've been dragging on for forever. I think the next episode will be the final episode in that build series. And I think that's like the 18th video for that series. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm preparing that video of doing the very last one. Where I'm in the sim and we're doing some scenery stuff. Okay. But that got me thinking is I'm adding, I'm actually building other models to put into that scenery, okay? And it got me thinking is traffic lights because there are some traffic lights in that area. And so I wanted to show you guys a really good way to make a traffic light that's animated that actually changes the lights. Some of the topics that I talked about is in a previous video that I did and that is on a wigwag light one that flashes back and forth Okay, it has two light bulbs and they just alternate back and forth Well, we're going to expand on that and I'm going to show you how to animate a traffic light That actually works the way a traffic light works it goes from green to amber to red Okay, I'm not going to show you all the, you know, details of the modeling itself because basically it's 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 a box with a face, and then I have three spheres that I cut that are pancakes. Okay, so if I select this light, go into edit mode, tab in, you'll notice it's 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 just a, a simple sphere that I've chopped off most of the sphere and then smushed it. That's an official term, by the way, smush. All right, so it's just a pancake shape, all right? And then I applied texture, okay? And the texture is basically, I found a lens look and um, I just colored those red, amber, and green, all right? And then applied the... Um, the material okay so if I come over here to material I have green and I'm using a PNG that I call green lens PNG all right it's the it's the green paint plus the the texture look of a lens all right that, that's it all right and obviously I've made the pole gave it a, a silver metallic look Okay, but the really important part of this are the lights themselves. Okay, now if we look at the lights, I am simply using spotlights. Okay, if you remember the wigwag, um, I used a point light. Okay, and I'll probably go back and change it because I like the, this look more than I like that I did with the wigwags, okay? The wigwags, I used a point light, all right? However, with the traffic light, I'm using a spot, okay? I have six spotlights. Actually, actually, I had three spotlights, and then one of these is a, this whole unit is a copy of the other one, all right? But each light has a spot. And if we look at the principles of the spot itself, so for the green, I give it a green color, obviously, and I make the radius 0.1 feet, really, really small, okay? Because I just want the light to focus in on the bulb itself and not light up all over the place, okay? So I change the radius of the or the size of the actual shape 
to be 10 degrees so it so it's narrower by default it's 45 degrees all right something like that so I just narrowed it down to 10 degrees all right so I can focus that light on this green circle all right and I did that for the amber for the red and for the green they're all the same all right the only thing is is that the red I mean the red light I'm I give it a red color and I give the amber the amber color that's the only difference between the physical properties of the lights and I made them five watts so they're not all that bright okay the important thing are the object properties for each one of these lights okay so over here we have the um, MSFS light parameters and again talking about the same topic as our wigwags there are three main important uh, attributes that you want to populate for each light okay now I'm talking about traffic lights here in the United States Europe I'm not familiar with them okay other places around the world I'm not North America they're pretty much all the same all right but the green light is the controlling light it's the first one that lights up okay and I give it a flash frequency of one that means it's only gonna blink one time every minute okay so let's select the green all right so over here we have the uh, flash frequency is one only one for every 60 seconds the flash duration for the green light is 30 seconds it's gonna stay on for real time 30 seconds okay and its phase I'm going to explain phase here in a second okay better than I did with the wigwags all right at least I hope all right F the flash phase is the point in time that it's going that that animation is going to happen all right so with traffic lights with these three traffic lights now, real world, there are you know the time is different, but for the sim, I'm I'm using one minute, sixty seconds, to animate this entire series. So this is going to happen every minute. Okay, the lights are going to change every minute. That's the cycle, sixty seconds. You can make it longer, but it's up to you. So our phase is sixty seconds long. All right, you understand that? A phase is the entire animation for all three lights. All right, so the green light is the controlling light, so that's going to start at zero, zero seconds. And remember, the duration of the green light is 30 seconds. All right, so that's what we have here. So from zero seconds to 30 seconds this green light is going to be on okay then in the United States it goes to amber so we'll select our amber and notice that it is also one flash for every minute but its flash duration is only five seconds okay so the green light's going to come on for 30 seconds. After at the 30 second, it's going to go off and the amber light is going to come on at 30 seconds right here in the phase. At the 30 second mark, that amber light comes on and stays on for 5 seconds. Okay? You with me so far? Then it changes to red. The red light again its frequency is only one a minute it's part of the same same animation its flash duration 
is 25 seconds. Why is it different than the green? Well, we're using 60 seconds as our total phase. All right. So the green light comes on, stays on for 30 seconds. At the 30 second mark, it goes out and the amber light comes on, stays on for five seconds. For the red light at phase, 35 seconds remember green light is 30 amber is 5 so the next phase starts at 35 seconds the red light the amber light goes off and the red light comes on and it takes up the rem and its duration is the remaining part of that 60 second interval which is you know 25 seconds okay so let's reiterate Green comes on at zero seconds, stays on to 30 seconds. At 30 seconds, it goes off. The amber light comes on, stays on for 30, I mean for five seconds, which makes it 35 seconds total, okay? And then at that 30, 30, at that 35 second mark, it goes out, the red light comes on, and the red light stays on for 25 seconds to finish out our one minute okay you with me so that and both of these both of these traffic lights are copies of each other so the attributes are the same on both all right so let's go into the sim and see if it works oh basically what I did was this is just a model in the model lib there's uh, no animation tags nothing you just export this out as normal and then uh, build your project and then go into the sim. Let's go into the sim and see how it's working. So here I'm at uh, my airport, uh, 5 Alpha 1, which is my guinea pig airport. And I have the object in the scene. All right. Now it's daytime. I don't have the lights really, really bright. All right, so you don't really see them very well during the day, right? Now, the amber light just went on. Five seconds later, the red light comes on. You can barely see it during the day. So let's go to options and let's go to nighttime. And we are currently in the red light phase of our traffic light. All right, and this is a real time 60 seconds. All right, this is real time. So now we started our phase. Our green light is our control, and it's going to stay on for 30 seconds. And I know that this is real time, so uh, I'm going to be filler talking. But um, the green light, phase one, lasts for 30 seconds. At the 30 second mark, it's going to go out and the amber light's going to come on for five seconds. So let's just sit and watch. Okay, there's the amber. Five, five seconds. Goes out. Red light comes on. And then stays on for 25 seconds. And then the entire process repeats itself. Okay? So basically, this is a one minute animation that just loops. As long as you're in the in the simulator okay so I hope you find many uses for this there are other things that you can do with this that I will eventually do um, for instance there could be a third light here and you can have like a turn turn signal for a turn lane or something like that uh, this is a setup for uh, two lanes right now okay but you can have a third lane you can have as many lanes as you want all right now usually with this there's probably this is probably at a cross street so there's probably a road that goes this way and the lights would be offset so when these lights are red the lights for this direction are green so you'll have to create a model same as we did but try to offset the time so all the lanes aren't 
the lights aren't exact I mean all directions aren't exactly the same okay so when you make a second model for the lights going the other direction you'll want to offset those times um, offset those times so they're not exactly the same so they alternate so while this one's green this direction is red okay hey if you found this useful please share it with your colleagues to uh, make your uh, scenery better I hope um, if you feel inclined to support me and uh, and the work that I do, please uh, buymeacoffee.com slash myphysicalworld. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for all those 1,700 people that put up with my boring stuff. And I will see you guys on the next video. See you later.